Elida wrapped up the home football schedule last week with a thrilling 28-21 come from behind victory over Ottawa Glandorf at Kraft Memorial Stadium. Logan Alexander's 54-yard touchdown run late in that fourth quarter proved to be the game-winning score. Some 56 years ago, in October of 1959, Elida picked up a narrow win on the road against Pandora, a victory that ultimately proved fatal and inspired the Bulldogs head coach to forever memorialize one of his players. Filmmaker John Ondo has the story be behind Kraft Memorial Stadium. When fans go to watch the Bulldogs play on a Friday night, they'll walk by this memorial. Most will enter the stadium without ever asking the question, who was Roger Kraft? October 1959, Elida was midway through their season, attempting to have back-to-back -back championship years for their Bulldogs, coached by Art Schreiber. One of his rising stars was a guard by the name of Roger Kraft. He excelled in academics so much that he was on track to graduate a year early. He was as smart as could be. I mean, it was just study, books, study, football. Roger was known for being one of those players who loved football and put everything he had into it. He was just football, 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 and if he got hurt, you know what? It didn't matter to him, he wanted to play. On October 16th, Elida was scheduled to play on the road at Pandora. He said, hey sis, you gonna come and watch me play ball? And I thought, right, who wants to come and watch you play ball? And we just laughed about it. In the third quarter, Elida was finally threatening to score. Kraft threw a block where the collision of the helmets could be heard in the stands. His helmet cracked from the force of the impact. He returned to the huddle and said, I really trapped that guy, but now I can see stars. Roger came back to the bench where his coach was waiting. He told Mr. Schreiber, he said, I'm good to go, you know, let's go. What Roger didn't know was the force of the impact triggered a cerebral hemorrhage in his brain due to a congenital condition which left him vulnerable to brain aneurysms. But much like sudden cardiac death, many of these problems, unfortunately, they go undetected. These people are asymptomatic until there's a catastrophic event. On the next series in the fourth quarter, Roger Kraft returned to the field and after a couple of plays, collapsed. A call went out over the PA for a doctor. Roger, who was barely conscious along with his mother, Mildred, were rushed to St. Rita's Hospital. But a train halted the ambulance and while waiting, Roger's mom knew the end was near. She said, I heard him sigh and she said, I knew he was gone. Roger Kraft was declared dead on arrival Coach Art Schreiber arrived moments later. And he says, where's my boy? Where's my boy? How's my boy doing? And they told him that he died. Art Schreiber just totally collapsed on the floor. The entire community came to mourn and pay their respects. News of Roger's death became known statewide. Many concerned parents saying that they were gonna pull their sons from playing football. In an act of incredible courage, Mildred decided to respond publicly to the parents in a letter that was published statewide in local newspapers. We all have a time and a place, the Lord knows best, and Roger's time came when he was playing the game he loved to play. Roger would not want you to say, I don't want my son to play football. Thank you again for your prayers and flowers. And mothers, pray that your children will be ready to go as Roger was. My Uncle Bob played, he played for Art Schreiber. You know, she didn't put the clamps on him and say, you're not playing. To honor Roger's memory, Art Schreiber led the campaign to name Elida's new stadium in his honor in 1961, the year Roger was to graduate. And they had a dedication. And of course, I played in the band and I stood out there and cried and cried and didn't play much. Even 55 years after Roger's death, student athletes and their families are faced with the same question. How do we balance the risk of head injuries with the benefits of playing high school sports? In and of itself, sport in general does carry some risk, but fortunately that risk appears to be low and we're certainly looking for ways, whether it's through screening, whether it's through helmets, whether it's through policy to further reduce that risk so that these people can continue to play sports. Unfortunately, we remember the heroes of the past only for a short time and then we move on. Roger's family hopes that his legacy and passion for football will be carried on in the stadium that continues to bear his name. We just didn't want him to be forgotten. 
you know, because he gave his all to that game. 